بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ود آور چیپٹر آن وسل بلوئنگ وی بین ٹاکنگ آن دا ڈفرنٹ ڈائمینشن آف وسل بلوئنگ اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی او ای سی ڈی انیشیٹو آن وسل بلوئنگ اینڈ او ای سی ڈی بیسکلی اسٹینڈس فار دی آرگنائزیشن آف اکنامک کارپوریشن اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ اے کامٹی آف تھرٹی پروگریسو نیشنس ٹرائنگ ٹو میک دا ورلڈ بیٹر پلیس ٹو لیو ان وی واز او سین دیٹ او ای سی ڈی ہیز بین ویری انسٹرومینٹل ان انٹیگریٹی اکاؤنٹیبلٹی ان اینٹی کرپشن and definitely whistle blowing is a part of uh, this uh, larger uh, colox and therefore uh, today we are going to be talking about the OECD initiatives on whistle blowing now whistle blowing with every passing year is becoming more entrenched and more well structured and more well frameworked uh, around the world both in the developing and in the developed countries now if we look at the OECD initiatives the opening up of economies to foreign comp- competition The removal of barriers to business and the free flow of capital across nations impose a pressure on business to satisfy uh, the shareholders' expectations. Companies started working with non-conventional business models to satisfy themselves and sometimes shareholders. So uh, what we see, ladies and gentlemen, is that with the opening up of the economies in the 20th century, with the elimination of borders and especially in the European, um, in the European cooperation countries, so we basically see that uh, this whole context of whistleblowing became more important uh, because uh, it was a huger market, there was free flow of capital, and also uh, there was a lot of pressure on businesses to meet the expectations of shareholders. And secondly, what we see is, is that many non-conventional business models also uh, came into play, which do not have any precedence, and therefore we see right now the emergence, for example, of uh, cryptocurrency, Uh, of different cryptocurrencies uh, which are available in the market and they themselves have become such a huge uh, product uh, that even regulating it uh, seems to be impossible. Uh, otherwise, what we have seen is that uh, how products uh, are crossing uh, the borders and again uh, creating uh, from global markets to local markets. And all of that now requires uh, whistleblowing uh, to be promoted so that if anything is going wrong, then the regulatory body is accordingly informed and that is extremely important. The corporate frauds have also become part and parcel of the business. So with the growing business, with the growing expectations, there is a uh, growing fraud and that now should be countered through growing whistleblowing. The ethical behavior on the part of management also increased to withstand uh, in the marketplace. So again, many new challenges, uh, many new uh, tests, uh, many new situations in which the top leadership had to take a decision and it was Uh, most appropriate if they made the right decision rather than doing the utilitarian uh, decision which basically would mean that they would be following what the majority of people are doing. So that is not required and therefore it will always be better that we have an ethical behavior uh, which is imposed on the management and that should also be uh, withstanding marketplace pressure. Uh, employees and other people in the organization are stakeholders who firstly know the unethical and illegal activities of management. Uh, whistleblower protection is essential to encourage the reporting of uh, misconduct, fraud and corruption. So uh, as you can see, K, it's very, very important uh, that reporting is encouraged to dissuade misconduct, fraud and corruption and then also do away with illegal activities and unethical practices within an organization. That is uh, extremely important. And nowadays, uh, a lot of pressure is being put uh, on corporations. Uh, I had mentioned to you earlier that the E4J initiative, Education for, um, Education for Justice uh, initiative of the United Nations Office for Drugs and Crimes, uh, that is basically blossoming. And now they have uh, the GRACE model, uh, which is called the uh, Global Resource for Anti-Corruption Education. Uh, that is available. They have the Youth Empowerment model for transparency. Uh, they have now going to be promoting what we call ethical uh, and integrity ambassadors within the organizations, within corporate bodies of Pakistan, Mexico and Kenya. And then after looking at uh, these success stories, they would uh, then make it go across the whole world. So what is happening is, is that now through this realization, uh, we are going down to the school level, to the college level, to the university level to ensure that the future leadership is more well equipped and more well sensitized. to the unethical aspects of life and of business. And that is extremely important to make people internalize their issues that they don't want to do something wrong, they want to do something right. 
they want to do something which is appropriate now it also helps the businesses prevent and detect bribery in commercial transactions providing an effective protection for the whistleblower support and open organization culture so again if we uh, tend to have uh, whistleblower protection then you would have a much more open culture and people would be able to express themselves freely and they would be able to uh, act as early warning systems whereby they can detect uh, bribery or any other negativity uh, corruption taking place right from the out start so that it is nipped in the bud that is extremely important that is how the oec is looking at it the oecd has made many recommendations in their reports uh, there are many reports the, the first one was in 1998 which was the oecd recommendation on improving ethical conduct in the public service there was uh, principles for managing ethics in the public service the 2003 oecd recommendation on guidelines for managing conflict of interest in the public service the 2009 recommendation of the oecd compendium of best practices a uh, checklist has been prepared by oecd for the cooperation in countries comprehensive and clear legislature uh, effective institutional framework so what we see is that ladies and gentlemen all of these things are extremely important and they have to be effectively uh, countered through the oecd uh, initiatives and interventions which are uh, extremely important and another, another aspect is protected disclosures and persons afforded uh, protection retaliatory actions outline of remedies and sanctions for retaliation and awareness raising so again these also formulate a very important components of the whole oecd initiative and intervention uh, regarding uh, the different uh, regulatory and other aspects of whistle blowing so whistle blowing is the future and whistle blowing is going to keep organizations on track thank you so much